What's up, y'all? It's Network Brett. I just wanted to kind of talk about me taking my CCNA. I had originally failed the first time. I pretty much had like a flashcard app with, I think, 600 questions or something. I was paying 20 a month. And I was, I was doing pretty good on those questions, but I failed the heck out of my CCNA. I totally wasn't prepared for how complicated some of the questions were. Um, some other CompTIA tests, it's kind of like, what is this definition? You know what I mean? Like, what is EIGRP or something? Hypothetically, and that's not a literal thing, but some of those tests are more like glossary tests. So that's what I was kind of preparing for with the CCNA. I was rudely awakened. Um, I really failed that. I was getting like 30% on some of these sections. I think overall my score was like a 35 or 40% if you averaged them. So that was very disheartening because, you know, I read the whole book, like both of the books. And, you know, I took notes and then, you know, I didn't lab. That's the thing I really didn't do. And I think that made a big difference. But I just wasn't prepared the first time, um, you know, you can't share like actual questions, but the types of questions that they have, it'll be like, look at this giant paragraph of output. Tell me what type of, um, just tell me things about the output, basically. So you'll need to know your administrative distance as well. Uh, which administrative distance is which routing protocol. Things like that where it doesn't always explicitly tell you in the output, but you need to know to answer the question that they're asking. So it's like you really have to know the output. And I also didn't lab much, but I, there's not a ton of labbing. You just kind of have to understand like the, uh, the syntax of the commands or whatever. So... A lot of it is like, you know, you have these different sections, like each answer might be a different 10 commands and you have to know what to look for in the commands. Like if you're trying to change, I don't know, the area of the OSPF or something, you know, where do you do that? How do you do that? So, you know, I can't give away questions, obviously. I'm not trying to, I'm just saying... You need to be familiar enough where you at least have a good grasp on it. So that's where I've pretty much been trying to get since last year when I failed the crap out of that one. So I've been studying, but also I work 10 hour days. I work an hour from my house, so that's two hours of driving every day. Then on top of that, I have a kid. So, you know, things just get in the way. I didn't really feel prepared, but... I think if you are serious about this CCNA, just take it, man. Just take it, set the date, and take it. So I bought the two test package for $375. And, you know, by itself, it's $300. I thought I already failed it one time. So I might fail again. Definitely when I don't feel that confident in how I've been studying, just because sometimes it's hard to make t time, man. Like life gets in the way. So I bought the 375. I take the test, right? I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the exam this time. I'm feeling like I know some of the answers this time. And I at least know what to look for when I'm, when I'm seeing this output that's like this freaking long on the exam. And they're asking me questions about it. I'm like, okay, I at least can grasp most of it. So I'm feeling a little more confident, but not completely confident. When I take tests, I like to, on the paper they give me, I'll write down the numbers that I think I might have got wrong or I'm like really not sure about. So if I'm like 70% sure on a question, I'm not going to do it. But if I'm like basically 50-50 guessing on one, I'm going to write down the number and I like to review them at the end. So even the labs on this one, I was having trouble with the labs. I was just like, oh man, I'm really kind of stuck. Like, I kind of remember about what you do, but I'm not exactly sure. And you kind of need to be exactly sure on labs. 
So I'm writing all these numbers down and I probably have like out of 80 something questions or 70 or 80 or whatever, 86, that's what it was. Out of 86 questions, I probably had like 13 of them written down with, with the labs I had. So I'm like, towards the end, I'm, I'm kind of 50-50 on if I'm going to pass. But I thought, I'm going to review those. I have 30 minutes to review them, so maybe I'll start remembering things that I didn't remember when I answered the question originally. So I don't see the review button. I just see next. And I think like, oh, I'll hit next and then I'll get to review my questions that I'm not sure about. I hit next and I just see pass. So <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, I didn't get to review them. But then I really didn't care because I passed. But I just want to share the story. I was not very confident. If you want to get specific to, I was taking the Bozen exams and I was getting 60% on the Bozen exams. I think, I swear I got like 60% on the exam if I averaged them all like 65, but it, it passed. So I don't care. Um, cause some of the stuff it's like, I'm not going to remember what makes up an IP header. It's just, it's just not that interesting, you know, but if you failed once, don't give up man or woman or whatever. Just don't give up. Keep studying. Like I said, I was I was not passing the Bozen exams. And it was getting to the point where I'm like, I it's almost feeling redundant. Cause I already failed the exam. I'm when I'm studying, I'm like, I kind of remember this, but I can't always remember it. You know? It's like you kind of know, like, oh, SPF is uh administrative distance 110, right? You know that in the back of your head, but when they ask you what is OSPF's administrative distance, sometimes it just doesn't come to you, you know? And it's hard when you've already failed an exam because the material's twice as boring because you already kind of know it. But just keep your head up. I just wanted to ramble about me passing my CCNA. Um, it's been years of studying for me. It's been all-consuming. And when I saw that I passed, I just could not. I still haven't really wrapped my head around it, but figured I'd share for people. If you fail the first time, don't sweat it, man. Just study different and study again and keep taking it. Now, I, in hindsight, I shouldn't have bought the 375 two test package, but I would have paid the extra 75 to take it again had I failed, you know? So I say buy the package if you're worried about it and, and you have the money to do so.